Hello friends, I thought I would do a little video of my Hogwarts castle that I just made so that you could get a better view of all the little details that I couldn't show in the pictures. So it's a three story high Barbie house that I converted into Hogwarts and added lots of extra features. It took me about six weeks and I don't even know how many hours, but we will start with the little turrets up here. We have Professor Trelawney's tower classroom here. We have a copper roof that was super fun to paint. We have the owlry right over here. And then we have Professor Dumbledore's tower office. And there is an entrance down below that I will show you. So as you come up to Hogwarts, I built this whole stone walkway up to the entrance where two gargoyles greet you and the door opens to the great room but if before you go in the great room there is the entrance into Dumbledore's office right there and as you come into the great room on the wall are the house points right there. Also, there's this lovely little knight that is about seven and a half inches tall. I cut out all of these windows and made stained glass windows. I lit them from behind so that even if this is sitting up against a wall, you'll be able to see all the detail of the stained glass windows. Above are all the house flags and it's lit in here to look like floating candles. I made this table and some of the plates. The other little plates and such are left over from my childhood dollhouse. I have some newspapers here. And then I made the sorting hat and the little stool that it sat, sits on is also from my childhood dollhouse. I've left room above the fireplace and I have a frame for the family that buys it can put a portrait there. I uh, built this staircase. It took me forever to figure out how I could get a staircase where a Barbie elevator used to be. So it goes all the way to the top. Um, uh, the wall is the portrait gallery along with stained glass windows that are hand painted by myself and my niece. On the top floor we have the portrait of the fat lady, just at the right height for uh, the Gryffindor students to climb through. We have some knights guarding the tower as well on either side. And then in the tower we have Harry Potter's bedroom. Um, I loved the hog pillow. I just thought that was fun. We have um, over here his school trunk and birdcage. Over here is his desk with a potion book and his snitch and other things and Harry sneaking out as well. There are curtains here, a door that opens as well, and back in here is the rest of the Gryffindor common room. So if we come down the stairs into the dungeon, we come to Snape's classroom. I made this table myself. I filled all of these jars with really fun ingredients. I made the cauldrons, two of them. And Hermione is here with her spell books. I also made this bookshelf back in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's filled with lots of fun little extra surprises. And then it over here is the Slytherin common room. I made all the furniture as well in here. And this wallpaper is the Black Family Tree. It's leftover wallpaper from what I wallpapered my bathroom in. So, and then if you come around, I built a uh, entrance into the dungeons 
so that you could get down to the mirror of Erised right here, which I made as well. So this stone can move away when you're playing with it. So that is the castle with all of its mini parts and it stands almost six feet tall so there's lots of room to play. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.